We're going to learn how to go live using Streamlabs OBS. On today's episode of Facebook Gaming Cheat Codes, we're going to set your Facebook page up for success. Make sure you like the video up, and if you like the video, please hit that subscribe. If you don't know, it's your boy Rob, Facebook gaming streamer with over 10,000 follows, and I've also helped many people create their Facebook pages for success. And let's get straight to it. You are watching a master at work. All right, now that we're on Facebook on the page we just created on the last video, if you haven't watched the video on that, there's a lot of valuable information. I definitely recommend starting there so you can get your page up and running and get ready to start a live stream. We're going to learn how to go live using Streamlabs OBS. All right, so we're on our Dracula Gaming page. Woo, we made that up. So there's two ways to go live. It might be multiple, but the main ways is going from your page, pressing the live under create, going not from camera you don't want to do this because you can't get your obs like that you go to connect connect is going to give you what we call a stream key right all right so how that works is um if you use a persistent stream key th these are pretty much the numbers that you'll be loading in the obs so that when you live stream through that it'll appear on here and then you press go live on facebook and it'll go live i'll show you exactly what i mean in just a second so if you use a persistent stream key, which never share your stream key with anybody or they can go live and go crazy on your page. You never want to share it. But if you're secure and you know nobody's going to see it, use a persistent one. That way you don't have to get a new one every single time. Right. You can use a backup stream, which this is new. But um, it cannot be disabled for this block. OK, I'll probably do that, too. All right. So boom, backup persistent if you want. So we're not going to use that just to keep it simple for now. Boom, uncheck this if it lets me. All right, it won't let me, but either way, you definitely always wanna type in information on your stream. This is important. Pull up a sticky note on your computer or a Word document, put your social medias in there and put a message for, for people that stop and buy, like a thank you, put your goals in there, your social media ways that they can, can connect. When if anybody has a question, instead of you stopping the game, you could put your social media links in there so they know where to follow you. So you're not just tied to this one, this one platform. All right. So this next step is very important. Right here, you're going to want to tag a video game. We talked about this in the last one. So let's say PUBG. What this is going to do is Facebook's algorithm is going to work for you. If it's a page that has a lot of people that are interested in it, it's going to push it out. Like PUBG is popular, right? If you can find a game that has a lot of likes, not a lot of streamers, this is free game, by the way. You'll move up to the top real fast. The algorithm is going to show you a lot of love. On the next video, I'm going to show you how to get your first 1,000 followers. So make sure you sub and click the playlist so you don't miss an episode. Now check this out. Once you got that, add a title, same thing. You want it to be catchy, you want it to be tagged, something that'll catch someone's attention if it's their first time seeing you. First impressions are everything, so you don't, every any step you got to make a connection, you wanna do it. So make sure you put a dope title in there, something that's gonna stand out. Tags, I don't really do, but you can. Share it to groups, we're gonna talk about that in the future. And uh, I guess there's a new live producer, but I, I don't do that route. And then custom thumbnail. I recommend getting a custom thumbnail that if somebody's scrolling on their Facebook, they stop and they take time to see what you're talking about, what game you're streaming, okay? Now, now that you got it set up for your live to be interesting looking, professional looking, your brand is solid, you feel me? We're gonna get over to OBS real quick. Let me pull OBS up here shortly. Boom, this is Streamlabs OBS. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our settings right here, the wrench settings, boom, stream. I don't know if I could show this, so if I blur it, I'll blur it. All right, so, okay, yeah, we're good. Under stream type, you're going to go custom stream server. All right, you could go streaming service. I don't personally, even though look, it does have restream, which I made a video about restreaming. Definitely check that out too. Uh, just to see that you can restream. But right now we're just focused on Facebook. So what I do is I don't go Facebook. I don't whoop de whoop. I just go custom streaming server. URL is going to be the server URL. Copy that. Pop back up stream last. Boom. Copy and paste. Boom. All right. Stream key is going to be your persistent stream key. Or if you didn't click that, it'll say stream key. Copy. Same thing. Pop your OBS up. Wop copy not like i said you don't want anybody to know your stream key 
The URL is the same, but that stream key is everything. So protect that. You feel me? If you're enjoying the content, please like the video and sub if you haven't, because these videos are going to make you, it's going to make your process a lot easier. So thank you for the support in advance. Now let's go straight to done. All right. So what we're going to do at that point, boom, you already had your stream set up. You're now you're tied to Facebook. Now, when you hit this go live button, you're not going live yet as far as this case go because facebook wants to send you here first to make sure you you're set up you know what i'm saying you're looking good you can see you can check everything out but just for the purposes of this video we're gonna go live that key we just pressed is for that stream key so what you're gonna see is bop boom we live over here too how many rods on the camera i don't know but yeah make sure you fill in all this information Make sure your video game is selected. This is important for your level up status that we talked about in the last video. So if you wanna get monetized, make sure you put a video game here, okay? And ideally, play a game that's gonna be seen. You feel me? Not a game that everybody's playing, but a game that has a lot of viewers or a lot of fans that you can move to the top of the Facebook gaming list so they can push your content out, okay? So now you got all that done. You're looking good. Your page is up. You already know what to do for level up. Like I said, the next video we'll be talking about how to get a thousand followers. The goal is a hundred in a month, but we going for a thousand. I'm gonna show you exclusive tips. If you want coaching, I'm on Patreon. Check me out in the link below. If you have a question, feel free to email me your question. And I'll get a response to you, man. It's your boy, Ra. After you get your page created, feel free to pull up on my live stream, facebook.com slash Gaming, and let me know that you found me from this video. I look forward to meeting you. And as always, peace and positivity. It's your boy, Ra. I'll see y'all on the next one. We out. Rock with the chrome, be y'all alone. Out of this world, this space in my home. Feel like a king, this city the throne. Got a red bone, she jam every song. Got me a clingy bit all on my phone. Holding me long, I need to fade it. Let me know when you're ready. I forgot your name, but I think it was Maxi. Don't pay disrespect, but I don't need your sex. I just want the neck, then I'm back to the check. Everyday Friday.